In this video, I'll show you how I turned this simple model into this 2D style render. Recently, Blender 4.0 got released, featuring a splash screen art by Gakutada. The painterly look of this art was uniquely refreshing to me, so naturally, I wanted to make something similar. Going through the project file, I realized it was entirely made using grease pencil. Okay, now, I'm no Picasso, I can barely draw stick figures. So, instead of doing this entirely using grease pencil, I'll be using a mix of methods that will give us that painterly look. Today, I'll be breaking down this art from how to model, animate and texture. For this specific image, I'll be modeling in Blender, texturing in Substance Painter, and rendering back in Blender. So first, let's start with modeling. This is a super simple step as there aren't that many things we need to model. We have the mailbox itself, the grass, cloud, and to make the scene a bit more lively, an airplane and some spider webs. First, we block out the scene using primitives and set up the proper camera angle. Once we're done with the block out, then we can tackle each object one by one. Most of the mailbox is almost done. After a quick retapo, we can tweak the silhouette a bit more using modifiers. And you can also use the sculpting tools for more manual control. The grass is simply made by using a plane shaped like the grass plane. We will use this later to scatter around the scene. As for the airplane, since it's pretty far away, we can quickly shape it and then by using modifiers, we can give it more character. Instead of replicating Gakutada's texturing style, we're gonna use a different method. I saw this video by Brand Sculpt, where he uses hand painting techniques to texture the sculpt that he made. It seemed like it would work very well for the look I'm going for, and so I decided to use the same technique instead. Quickly, this became my favorite thing about 3D. Texturing the mailbox is easy, as we only need to worry about the base color. On top of that, I even had the reference next to me to help me choose the right one. Here for the plane, I went over it really quickly. I used an off-white color for the body and added some extra variation and I kept the window simple with a black shade. Now comes the cloud. For some odd reason, I decided that it would be better if I paint the cloud. And I'm not kidding when I say this, I spent hours watching endless amount of tutorials on YouTube. But luckily, it turned out to be really simple. Here's a quick summary of what I learned. For the sky, it's just a gradient that I painted on Photoshop. After all this was done, I used Photoshop to paint a grass texture for the ground plane. I reused the same texture for the grass blade as well. To make the spider webs, we'll use grease pencil. First, I quickly made a block out as a placeholder for the spider web, and I reused this as a canvas by turning on the surface mode in the stroke placement option. For the second spider web though, I added another grease pencil object and I drew it from the front view. After putting this all together in Blender, now we can move on to the line art. Here's what you should do. Shift A and add a collection line art. In the modifier section of the line art object, choose the collection that you wish to have line arts for. Then add a noise modifier and tweak the settings accordingly. You can also play around with other modifiers and get a variety of different results. With that, we're done with texturing and now we can move on to animation. This is a fairly simple model, so we won't be using bones. Instead, we will parent shapes from the origin point of each object. Using these shapes, we can easily animate the mailbox. As for the cloud, Latai seems like a good choice. After setting this up, we can gently push and pull the point to make it seem like the cloud's changing its shape. 
You can even parent it to an empty object and move that around to make it seem like the cloud is drifting in the sky. It's the same process for the spider web as well. For more control, you can also use shape key, which is what I recommend. Remember the grass blade we made earlier? We will rig it using a method known as wiggle bone technique. To animate the grass, instead of manually adding keys to each of the blade, you can use the noise modifier in the graph editor. Tweak the parameters for the desired result. Now here's the funny part. Don't scatter your grass before you rig it. Trust me, it's a huge pain. I learned it the hard way. Unless, of course, you enjoy doing it. With that, we're done. After a little bit of post-processing and adding sound effects, here's the final result. This is my first ever video. Hopefully this was helpful. This took me four long months of procrastination to complete the video. All the project files are available to download for free on my Patreon. While you're there, please consider subscribing. It will be really helpful.